Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 180 in the first uh, meeting of December, coming to the end of 2019. It's amazing. I think 2020 is right around the corner. Anyway, uh, we'll have another meeting this month, but before we do that, let's talk about 180. I'm getting all ahead of myself. We missed last week. We're back this week. Uh, it's all topsy turvy. So here we go. Uh, we're streaming this live on Twitch, and we record these and upload them to uh, YouTube. So those of you with us here right now, uh, this is being recorded. Uh, we're going to do triage. That's about all we're going to do. It's going to be a short meeting. Do some questions. Um, and I think next week I said I will try to get some content together about the upcoming Wix 4 uh, technology in Wix 4, changes in Wix 4, uh, cool things going on underneath the hood, just as a series to kind of talk about things. But for now, let's go do triage, and uh, we'll call it a day. Bob, you ready? Let's go. Uh, we're still skipping this first one, although we need to talk about that someday. Um, the next one. This person says that when they download and install from Edge, and only Microsoft Edge, that it ends up in the background. But all the other browsers do the right thing. And he has suggested that with standard BA should be changed so it forces itself to the foreground when it's run. I don't know that you can do that. All you can do is end up getting your window to flash. Yeah, they 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 do a lot to prevent people from trying to. Yeah. Hey, I'm important. Click on me. Yeah, and this is really an issue in Edge. Um, and also, no, I'm wondering if this Edge is going away. Like, this well, this is, if this is old Edge, then yes. So it would be interesting to see what happens in Chromium Edge. Um, let's see. Yeah, On no, Windows. that's that's the other Edge because Chromium Edge that I have is like seventy nine something, and this is yeah, forty four. So I think this is old Edge, okay. which makes me even less excited about messing with it. Right. Um. um yeah, I can add a comment, you know, asking if, you know, if it occurs with uh, yeah. Chromium. I don't think trying to fight for foreground window is just a losing proposition on Windows. So yeah. I don't think we should be doing that. So, all right. I, uh, so you're going to ask, but still it's going to be external, right? I mean... Well, yeah, but edge if it issue. doesn't repro on Chromium Edge, then, then we then care can... even less, but it's still going to be yeah. external. I mean, we're not going to fix it either way. Um, well, I'd say if it repros on Chromium Edge, then it's, you know, maybe worth investigating because you can, you know, what is it called? Uh, set active or set foreground window. Um, but. Yeah, you know, and maybe the, the the flash is sufficient because it would at least say, "Hey, look, there's something here." But if it doesn't repro on Chromium Edge, then yeah, it's, it's... nobody cares, right? No. All right, fine. We'll we'll talk about this in two weeks, I guess. Then again, because Jose Fizo is pretty good about getting back to tickets usually. Yeah. Uh, use Wix toolset as a C sharp library .NET Core tool support. I don't exactly know what part. Is this DTF that he wants as .NET Core? DTF is already covered. It, DTF works. It happens to work. Um, we know that because we're using it in Wix 4. Um, I don't know what else to unpack, repack MSI files. That's the DTF thing. Yeah. So it should just work, right? Well, you get the you get the warning, but yeah. it works. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. I'm not. Someone could yeah, rewrite all of DTF in .NET Core. Well, it'd be interesting to see what it would take, if anything, to build it for .NET standard. But. Uh, it wasn't pretty when I tried because a lot of the stuff it was using was, I think, deprecate now, maybe? No. I don't remember. It, but it's working. I don't know. It's too long ago that I, I took a swing at it and then decided that it wasn't worth it, the effort. But Anyway, all right. Uh, so toss it in 4X so someone can look at it if they want. Uh, 
Uh, should we? I mean, or can we just declare that DTF's current level of support is sufficient? Yeah, I guess that I mean, would, yeah. They haven't shown, yeah, so not, it seems to work in Wish 4 for us if they can demonstrate what doesn't work and go from there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Wix 4 is built on top of it. Yeah, that's fine. Or, using it now. So, all right, I think that's everything for the day. We, here we are looking at bugs and their really feature requests. One of them is an R bug because someone's launching us without putting us on top, on top of their window, which, yeah, makes sense. And .NET Core support for this is definitely a feature request. Yeah, so, yeah, someone wants to do that work, like to make it native .NET Core, .NET standard or whatever. But yeah, otherwise I think it works. All right. Like I said, this is going to be a short meeting. Is there anything else that people want to talk about? Stuff going on. Things happening. Doings. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Sean's hiding in the corner. Trying to be all quiet, keep the buzz out. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I, I've given how little issues. We actually canceled the meeting two weeks ago because there were so few issues to talk about. So um got me thinking, yeah, I want to start a a uh, series on uh, just talking about internals of Wix 4 so people can be like, oh, okay, cool, this is what's going on. Because we are getting closer and closer, every day a little closer of getting Wix 4 to a place that it will be able to preview. So um, still have dreams of that coming very soon, but we'll talk about some of the internal stuff so that when it does come out, people know, oh, that's how it was built. And that's why it took them so long. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think we'll call that for the day, short meeting. Uh, a couple features, request things to do, and then uh, we'll be back in two weeks because that's, I think, December 19th. Yeah, December 19th. That should be safe and sound before any holiday type things. Uh, so two weeks from now, we'll see all you guys. Uh, and that's all I have. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.